I'm in America. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
That's my stand. But, the, you know, uh, as I said this morning, for us to take a stand on any of those issues now is without adequate data. We need more information. And uh, my letter to the uh, to Metrolinx will have a lot of questions in it. Yeah. You obviously agree with the two tools that were taken off. Oh, yeah, because that affects our revenue. And uh, the property tax cannot bear any capital cost because the property tax will have to look after the maintenance and the operation. And so will the transit fares. So those two are no-no right now. And I have the support of the large urban mayors of Ontario. They passed a resolution and I uh, placed that with the government. So the message is loud and clear from the municipalities. No property tax and nothing on the transit. We're going to have to increase the transit fares, which we are doing gradually every year, in order to cope with the expansion, as well as the, uh, the cost, the increased cost of fuel, the increased cost of maintenance. Operating costs. Yeah, operational costs going up every year. Salaries of the transit operators are going up. So the property tax has to look after that. But it cannot in any way uh, be used for the capital costs of these projects. Okay. Mayor, if you want to have a um, like a, a real sit down, like yeah, a, I, a I mentioned that to you. Yeah. That was San Gruel, urban affairs reporter for the Toronto Star.